That old man ain't reality. Right. And the Christian church is deceived by people to think you don't have to do nothing. All you gotta do is run around the church, uh, put your hands up, uh, say it, and pray it. All these catch phrases that don't produce no evidence. Right. But the most I gave us laws, statutes, and commandments. The Messiah ain't go around who you say you found. He ain't go around eating pork. Right, right. He ain't go around committing adultery and then talking about I paid it all. Huh. You know, you can do whatever you want. You can be a fornicator. You don't have no responsibility. Then what you're doing is bringing the Heavenly Father down to your level. Now, you don't serve him. He serves you. Right. And what type of power is that? That's not the power of the Bible, man. Right. And they haven't taught you that. Wait. Right. For he that wavereth. For he that wavereth. If you waver. How many times are y'all sick and tired of the pastor telling you something, but you don't see no change? You got to, the church is still, you've been going to church all this time and we're still in the same condition. Right. We should be saved by now. Read. For he that wavereth, for he that wavereth, is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tough. That's what's going on. That's why you don't see no change in the church. We don't. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. You won't receive anything. That's why we have it. Because we haven't asked in true faith, which is obedience. Read this. Come, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken. If you shall what? Hearken. This is very important, sisters. This right here, this is your day today. This is your day because you're going to learn more here than you're going to learn in any seminary, which I call AKA cemetery school. You're going to learn more because all they do is promote death. What's a pulpit? That don't even sound right. Think about it. That's scary. Pulpit. We're going to pull you down into a pit. Ooh. Last time you talk about pit, pit is a pit of hell. Right. You see what I'm saying? And with lies, you can always be pulled down. The most High came to lift us up as a people. Right. He said, but if I be lifted up, we don't lift them up. We're not taught to lift them up. Wait, this is how you lift them up. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments. Some of the commandments. All oh, his, his commandments. commandments. The ones I want, like when I go to go to Corral, yeah, give me the fried chicken. I don't want the lobster. Oh, all his, his commandments. You got to eat it all. Now, I'm not telling you to eat lobster because we're not supposed to according to the Bible. That's an unclean food. But my point is... When it comes to obeying these laws, you can't obey just some of them. You can't pick and choose. Because the church has taught us where it's okay to pick and choose. We said, well, we're not under the law no more. So it's okay to commit adultery. Oh, no, the pastor said, no, you can't do that. Even though I did it last night with the deacon's wife. Right. As long as you pray over it. As long as you, as long as you ask forgiveness. No, that ain't according to the Bible. Give me Exodus 34 and 7. Keep reading what you got. To do all his commandments. You got to do all his commandments. Somebody show me the command. If you follow the Messiah. Listen, sisters. If we're supposed to have faith, right? And we, we've been taught to believe in, in the Most High, in God, all things are possible. Why well, it's not possible to keep his laws? Right. Bring it out. I, I don't understand that. Well, if he's the most powerful, inexplicable the infinite inexplicable which he is. But how are you going to say, well, we can't do that? You don't have no faith. You got faith for everything else. I got faith that, that he'll forgive me if I keep sinning. Do y'all know what sin is according to the Bible? I'm going to show you what the, what the Bible says, not my words. Give me the book of 1 John. You know that? Yeah. Read it. 1 John 3 and 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressive also the law. Oh, how many times were you talking about the law in church? It right here it says, if you read that again, I'm not going to say it. Whosoever committed sin, transgressive also the law, for sin is. This is what sin is, read. The transgression of the law. What laws are we talking about? What laws are we talking about? We're talking about all the laws that he gave to the true children of the Most High. You and me, sister. We were always to be the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. We were the ones to be the light of the world. Because even when we're doing wrong, who do they follow? 
They not watching a bunch of pink flesh entities play basketball. Right. They not watching a bunch of pink flesh entities do a Serena Williams. No, who are, who are the stars of the earth? It's always been us. Even the intellectual minds. You got to be some type of lazy person to have people build things up for you and then you claim it as your own. And that's all we've done. We jumped through all the hoops. We did all the flips that they ask us and you still ask it for justice and peace because you were never meant to be equal. You were always superior. Give me... Here go ahead, read what you got. This is, this is for the sisters right here. This is Exodus 1 and 19. It says, And the midwives said unto Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women... Because the what? The Hebrew women... That's who you are. Y'all are Hebrew women. Y'all are Israelite women. Read. Are not as the Egyptian women. You're not like these Hamite or Hermetic, the Canaanite women, the Africans. A lot of us want to identify with Africans. The Africans don't acknowledge you. And you can tell we're not the same. All of us are not the same. Now, there's some of us that went into the interior of Africa, but all Africans, even Africans, consider themselves by tribes. And they know who you are. They know that you're the children of Israel. A lot of them. I've been in Nigeria. They tell you, they say, are you Igbo? Which goes back to Ebre, which goes back to Hebrew. Read. Really. But the Hebrew women. But the what? The Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women. You start supposed to be learning from any of these women. We, For they are lively. They are more lively, we. And are delivered ere the midwives come in unto them. So we know the narrative where the Hebrew women, they were able to still give birth. And they refused to listen to Pharaoh, who happened to be a African, a Canaanite. They refused to go by his decree and still had children come out. Wow. Who's the most fertile woman on the earth? Bring it out. That's why there's so much white fear going in America. They're scared of the numbers, man. Why do you think they come up with abortion? Why they always wear the poster children for abortion, for the eugenics movement? That's the extermination of our people, man. Right. The so-called European, the PFE, that the pink flesh entity, his birth rate is diminishing. And the same thing that happened in ancient Egypt, they were afraid that we would get larger than them and that we would end up taking over. And that's what's going to happen. We would have had you on. Come, Deuteronomy 28 and 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently. This is what y'all got to do, sisters. Until the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments. Right. Which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all. Nations. So you were never supposed to be equal. The promise from the Heavenly Father is that you would be above all nations, all nationalities. That's what nation means. So we keep trying to be equal. We keep fighting for equality. That's why you're not getting it. Right. Because you were never meant to be equal. You know you're not equal. Yeah. You, the sun know you're not equal. The sun, when you get melon from the sun, and when the white man come out there and get sun, ah, it burns me. Yeah. Right. You know you're not equal right there. Elements telling you you're not equal. Right. What more proof do you need? Right. Read what you got. This the book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art in holy people. We're a holy people. You know what the word holy means? Pastor won't tell you. It means separate. It means kodash or kodesh which means separated. We would talk holy means you just, you wear all white. You see what I'm saying? You just wear all white, you wear the long dresses, and that's an outward appearance, but true holiness is being separate, separated from what's unclean. Read. For thou art in holy people. We're holy people, come on. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto the heavenly Father, read on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people equal above all people equal to all people above all people we read now the king james version of the bible why you think they change the versions all the time because they don't want you to know the truth Read above all people that are upon the face of the earth how you ever gonna be equal when the most high your creator said you're above right you better than them That's you gotta right. accept that somebody said jesse jackson used to say i am Somebody. That's what Jesse Jackson used to say. I am somebody. You knew, know what we need to start saying? We are better than everybody. Right. That's, that's right. what the Bible says. 
We got to make you, if we can't help you, you can't help what lineage you born to. You can't help your nationality. You can't help your race. You can't help who your daddy is. Right? Read. The book of Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass. If I will not hearken. So if you don't hearken, these curses are on our people today. Because we didn't listen. Read on. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Come on. To observe. To do all his commandments. Now, if you keep doing some of them, and the pastor is tricking everybody and saying, look, you can do this, you can do this. Uh, we don't believe in the Old Testament. Just pay your tithes. Yeah, that's in the Old Testament. But uh, we need your tithes, so do that. Come on, read. And his statutes. And which, his statutes. Come on. Which I command thee this day. Man didn't command this. This comes from the Heavenly Father. Why don't you try it and see what happens? Why don't you attempt it and see what happens? Right. right. You think the most I wouldn't pour you out a blessing because you're his child? It's like a father when the child is starting out and saying, he can't really say daddy, he's saying die, die. Oh, the father said, man, how adorable that, that is. Right. That's why we got to start. He's not an unfaithful father. He's not a man that he should lie. Read. That all these curses. That all these curses, what? Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now one of the curses that happened to us was this in Deuteronomy 28:68. Your heritage and history is locked up in this book. Your identity as the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, our identity, they won't teach this book this way because they don't want you to identify to who you are that you're above them. That's why he said we're all equal. That's why they teach you we're all going to be saved. No the hell we not. Right. Everybody ain't in the same condition. Is so how we, what type of heaven is that? The people that oppressed and did all types of wickedness, they cut the stomachs out, took the babies out the womb, gave and put the children, our children, as alligator bait. They lynched us if these trees could talk. They mutilated us. They made us work. They whipped our backs off. They get to go to heaven too? Man, that's, I don't want to be there. Because guess what? If the PFE, the pig flesh entity, end up in heaven, guess what he going to turn it to? Hell! Right. Because everywhere he's gone, he's destroyed. You got to look at his pattern. You can't look at, just don't look at what your heart wants to tell you. Because the Bible says the heart is what? Get that for me. Hold what you got. Do what you got. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. How you think we got over here? Now, Egypt is the word for bondage. We're going to show you. Egypt, then we never went back to Egypt again. But he told the Israelites that if you don't listen to me, I'm going to send you over here on ships. Read that again. 28, Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way wherever I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. Meaning we wouldn't see our homeland again. Read on. And then who shall be sold Unto your enemies. What happened when we got here? So oh, unto your enemies. We are. For bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Meaning nobody redeemed us, and we're still over here to this day. All right? Now, we're going to show you how Egypt means bondage. The Exodus 20 and 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. We came out of Egypt. Come on. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of what? Bondage. So it's also known as bondage. So he brought us out of the house of bondage, but he, we were sold to our enemies. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 48. Give you another book, curse. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 38. 48. Salakia. Yeah. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Stop right there. Because we didn't obey, because we, did, we weren't faithful, this is what happened to us. So how are we going to still do those same things and think we're going to be blessed? It'll never happen. Read on. Against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. When we came over here, weren't we dependent on this man for everything? If we wanted food, we had to get it from him. And it was in nakedness. We came on off them slave ships with no clothes on. And then even after slavery, we didn't have no clothes on our back. The Jim Crow laws, the bag of bond laws, all that. We don't. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. We got the pictures to prove it. 
That's what he did. He put a yoke of iron on our neck. Come on. Until he had destroyed thee. Now I'm going to tell you, sisters, the destroying that's happened to our people is that we don't even identify with what we've just been teaching now right. as the people. That's how he's destroyed us. So it's like a dog that's already conditioned once he's been shocked by electric fence. He ain't going to go back so far. Right. He don't even have to know. He just know, oh, this area, is, is it burns right here. So I, I'm not walking up. That's what's happened to us as a result of our disobedience. All right? So we got to understand that. Get another curse. Give me uh, 54. Come on, Deuteronomy 28 and 54. So that the man that is tender among you, and very delicate. At one time, we used to be brothers in arms. We understood our struggle, black power, the Nat Turners, the Denmark Vessies. We used to have the same plight. We don't. His eye shall be evil toward his brother. Now, because of the curses and we didn't obey, man, you stepped on my shoes, man. I got, oh, no, man, I'm, I'm about to put two hot ones in you now. Uh, who, you, who you think you are? You walk, we... Look, just because a couple blocks down the road, it's a different hood. This is my street. No, this is my street. Now we don't kill each other over the street. Gang, gang, nigga. Right. You see what I'm saying? Acting like Pinky out here. Right. Wait. And. Go ahead. And toward the wife. And towards the what? The wife. The wife. Of his bosom. And toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Who leaves their homes more than the so-called black man? That's how you know it's talking about us. Read on. Verse 55. So that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children who he shall eat. That's where you have to, you, they child support. They right. got to go catch this Negro just to give some money to his children. That's a curse in the Bible. Read on. We get to 56. The tender and delicate woman among you. All women used to be tender and delicate. But the so-called black woman, I'm telling you, I'm surprised for most of our women that their hair they fall off. Because the way they roll their neck and how they will not listen, they don't believe in the family structure anymore. Where the man, I'm not talking about y'all necessarily, unless the shoe fit. But if that's all women as a culture, they're not like that anymore. They're not submissive. At one time, they were in the trenches with the black man. Look, I know your condition. I'm gonna support you no matter what. I don't care if you don't have a Maserati. As long as we together, we can make it. They don't have that mentality anymore, Read. Come on, it says, Sir, the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground. So she wouldn't even leave the house to do nothing immoral. Now, they twerking it out, twerking on headlights. I'm like, huh? Yeah. We're twerking on headlights. I mean, twerking is bad enough as it is, but they, they don't even, I seen one sister, I'm just a little sidebar, they showed her on the news, and she was in the McDonald's and she got upset and she was knocking everything over. And right before she left, she looked in the camera and started talking. I said, what would make you do that? Right, it's a demon. It's a demon, man. You want to shake your behind after you, you're going to jail. Right. You know what I'm saying? That don't even make no sense. Read what you got. It says, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness. Very delicate. Read on. And tenderness. She was tender, come on. Her eye shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter. So we see that in our culture. We don't see that everywhere. The so-called black woman is very, the way they talk to some of their children and you wonder why little Pookie grew up and, and he killed everybody. That's how he was raised. So do you see, sisters, where we are as a result and this is what we need to do. I'm going to uh, get a couple more and let the next brother come further edify. But if y'all have any questions, feel free. We want to answer all the questions that you have by the Spirit of the Heavenly Father. Give me a Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Read what I had you hold. This the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. The what? The heart is deceitful above all things. So in church, what do they tell you, sisters? The first thing they tell you, oh, you, God know your heart. What the Bible say? The heart is deceitful above all things. From the Hebrew, the word heart is lab, or leb. And the Hebrew meaning means your mind. So your heart is your mind. It's not, not just your, earth, the, your fleshly pump, but it's your mind. Your mind will deceive you. Read on. 
and desperately wicked. And what? And desperately wicked. The mind is wicked. That's why we need guidance. The Most High created us to serve Him. You need to be led by Him. And the thing about our people, they don't do it. Right. And then they talk about, I know God. Well, let's see what God say about you knowing Him. Read what you got. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart and try the reins. Who searches the heart? I, the Lord, search the heart. And you see the men you see before you and the sister you see before you today, we have accepted the Most High's calling because too many of our people refuse him. How do you refuse him? When you pick your own way instead of his way. Right. You reject his commandments. The scripture says, my people, he didn't say all people. He said, my people perish for lack of knowledge because they reject knowledge. We the only ones that stiff neck. Like, ain't nobody more stiff neck than the so-called Negro. You can't tell them, we've been beat up and we still twerking and dancing and having a good time in America. Right. We should be revolted. That's how you know we stiff neck to the Heavenly Father. Even oppression makes a wise man mad. We not even mad. We want, oh, Mr. White Man, please, uh, be my friend. Right. Could, could you? Would you? Would you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> the, the neighbor, matter of fact, we gotta get that. The neighbor is your brother. Right. The neighbor is not the man that's next to you that's been oppressing the hell out of you for over 400 years. Plus, look, they even had to acknowledge that. That's right. Read on. You wanna get the neighbor? Yeah, get the neighbor. All right, this is Leviticus 19 and 7. We're going to show you who your neighbor is. Read. Let me get 16. It says, Thou shalt not go up and down, Salakia, as a talebearer among thy people. Among every other nation. Thy okay. people. Thy people. Meaning us. We can't never have nothing. We always got to include them, but they don't want to include you. I want some Negro only pies. How about that? That'll be a good place. We used to have it. It was uh, called Black Wall Street. Whatever we did in the 1920s, we had more then than we do now. Because right. we stuck together. Right. I want a Negro only bathroom. I want a segregated bus. Y'all, our people don't want to hurt them, no. Oh, we gotta fight for Mr. White Boy to love me. Read. Neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. The blood of thy neighbor. Come on. I am the Lord. We don't. Thou shalt not hate thy brother. It's showing you who your neighbor is. It's your brother of your old tribe. We in thine heart. In thine heart. Come on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Rebuke thy neighbor. So it said, don't hate your brother, but rebuke him. In other words, your neighbor. Tell him. What he's doing wrong according to the laws, statutes, and commands. Because if we don't tell you what you're doing wrong, we don't love you. Like these brothers, if I don't tell them what they're doing wrong, and I know that the curses are going to be on them, then I actually hate them. Right. If I don't tell them the truth. A lot of our sisters get upset when we say, well, sister, there's a way that that's a little better than what you're doing. Try this. This is the Heavenly Father. Dress in modest apparel. Be decent. Have some... Uh, you know, shame facedness. Let me show you Proverbs 31 what it means to be a virtuous woman and be respected. Right. But these men out here don't respect harlotry. And that's why our women got to come back to the truth. Because guess what? If you sisters do it, a lot of these brothers are straightened up. That's right. It's sad to say, but America pushes female apotheosis, the worship of women. They do it. You got every man, oh, one year, I got to go to church today. He going to say it tomorrow. I got to go because my wife said so. <laughs> got to listen to the pastor. That's why the church is filled up with women. It should be filled up with men. And you got the pastor looking at the woman, women in the front row. Let's have a private meeting after service. Go ahead, read. Matthew 7 and 21. Mm -hmm. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord. And now, what, who does this more than our people? You know this talking to, he's talking to our people. Not everyone that saith to me, Lord, Lord. They say, Lord, Lord. They're going to be saying, Lord, Lord, all day tomorrow. Right. Lord, people going to be falling out, blowing bubbles, spinning around. Lord, Lord, looking like an alligator. Right. Lord, just spinning around. Go ahead, read. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. You can't enter into the kingdom. Everybody think that they gonna go. But you know what, Mr. Sam? Everybody wanna go to heaven, but nobody wanna do what it takes to get there. You don't put no work in. Any faith that puts all the responsibility on your power, that's irresponsible. 
What type of servant are you? Right. You the worst, you the worst one. Three. Oh, you don't do nothing. Damn, that don't even make no sense. Right. But he that doeth the will. But he did what? Doeth the will. That's what you gotta follow. What's the will of the Heavenly Father? That's what our people should be asking. Stop worrying about everybody else. But what's his will? Read. Psalm 40 and 8. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. The law, and we got to get the law back in our minds. That's what we just, matter of fact, that's, go the, will. that's the will. Give me uh, what the Messiah said, John, John 546. Uh, and then uh, keep my commandments if you love me. Read what you got. Do I have you hold something? No, that's it. And wow. I'll get a couple more precepts and somebody else is going to come up. Come on. I appreciate your listening. Let's give these sisters a round of applause. But actually listen to the word. You know, that's beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, this is such a rarity. You know, our people just walk by. But guess what? The Bible says that no man come to the Most High unless he be drawn. So it's not us. It's his spirit that's doing this. And so we give all praises to him. Read. The book of John chapter 5 verse 46. For had ye believed Moses... This is the Messiah saying, if you believe Moses, why is the pastor telling you, this is in the New Testament, why the pastor tells you that the Old Testament don't matter? Mm -hmm. The Messiah is saying this, read. For had he believed Moses, if you believed Moses, ye would have believed me. Then you would believe what I'm telling you, read. For he wrote of me. He wrote of me, read. But if ye believe not his writings, you see how dangerous the church is? They say we don't have to believe in Moses' law. The Messiah said the opposite. If you don't believe in his writings, what did Moses write? The first five books called the Torah, which is the law, which means teaching and instruction. If you don't have teaching and instruction, you're dumb. Right. And you're blind. And we're going to end up in a ditch. And that's what we've been doing. We ditch diggers. The so-called Negroes have become ditch diggers in America off that Christian garbage. Right. Not teaching you the truth. Mr. Uh, that the white man is God. And every time you bow down, you you see a white man. That's who you subserve. That's the same man you was bowed down to in slavery. Right. It was whipping your back. Read. But if ye believe not his writings. If you don't believe his writings. How should ye believe my words? How you gonna believe my words? And this is how we know. I'm going to get ready to close here. White pe our people still bow down to this image. And, we're, and we have been taking a whipping ever since that image. Because inherently, we feel like we're supposed to be beat by this man. We identify with suffering. We don't identify with deliverance. We don't, we don't identify with conquering or being victors. We just identify with survival. But you're, the most I called you, you better than that. They're, they're surviving because of you. We. Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. And the law that endureth forever. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. All they that keep it. All they that keep the commandments shall what? Shall come to life. That's the eternal life. And you can have life here too. We not we not them weak Negroes. We ain't not, we ain't them yes sir boss type dudes. We run in our houses according to the scriptures and we're seeing the fruit of it. You can tell a tree by the fruit it bears. Right. We. But such as leave it shall die. Shall die. Read your precept. Give me a... Uh, John with the Messiah. Read your word. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? What does the most I want from you, sisters? After hearing all this account and becoming enlightened, what does he require of you? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. You got to start fearing him, and that's learning about him. Coming and studying fellowship with us. I don't know if you have husbands, but they have to come along too. Read. What doth the Lord thy God require of thee but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways? To walk in all his ways, that goes back to that direction. Because I don't care how much encouragement you get on the wrong road. America encourages our people down the wrong road. You'll never get to the Heavenly Father's destination. I don't care how many people on the side, yeah, you can win, you can win, Jesse. You can make it. You're not going to win. You'll never win because you're on the wrong road. I done gave people wrong directions before. I was like, damn, I hope they make it. Right. Yeah, I, I, I thought I thought that's what they do. But I, this way they were not now when I was in my wickedness. But I tell a PFE the wrong way in a second. Right, right. Yeah, he was telling our people wrong ways also. I said, yeah, it's over there. 
Go ahead, read. And, uh, oh, go ahead. Read. And to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments. To do what? To keep the commandments. You got to know the commandments to start keeping them. Read on. Of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. For thy what? For thy good. Then things are going to start getting better. Just prove them to see. You just got to start. Read on. This is my last verse. Matthew 7, 22. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? That's deceiving a lot of people who are not your prophet so and so coming to the Episcopal Church of the Tenth Power. We come to see Bishop Dynamite. And he got all types of uh, entourage with him and he prophesying. He proper lying. Telling all people, oh, you're going to get a new car. I see it. Yeah, that's because he's looking at your room. Right. And he can tell how much money you got. Go ahead. And in thy name have cast out devils. And you see that it happened in church. People spinning around, blowing bubbles, laying hands on people. And the same people falling every week. Ain't nothing changed. Still got the same demons. Read. And in thy name done many wonderful works. Did many wonderful works. I uh, fed the poor, did all that. Read on. Verse 23. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. He said, I never knew you. Come on. Depart from me. He going to say, depart from me. And this is why. Ye that work iniquity. Iniquity means lawlessness. Those that didn't keep the law. Right. So with that, I say shalom. shalom. <laughs> Next five this week. Everybody get peace. Y'all can... Sound